Hey, uh, Miss Me Brian. <laughs> Project of the day, right? We're gonna we have to take this toilet off because because it's collapsing into the floor all the way around it. There's you know a depression, right? So and the bullets and stuff are just like rusting. This one will just pull right through. I mean, it's so rusty up every morning, making a difference. And the piece broke off the end back here. I've already taken the putty knife, putty knife, uh, and cut around the edges, uh, to loosen it up from the linoleum floor. Right. So right now we're gonna. Uh, I already brushed the toilet, turned the water off. Right. So what we gotta do now is we gotta disconnect the hose. Not gonna like that, but anyway. Uh, and see if we can just stuck on that. Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, the floor is collapsed. What do we need there? I mean. It dips down a good you know, three quarters of an inch with the wax ring mask. Touch is leaking there and there from where all the old crusty stuff is. Alright, so what I need to do is cut the linoleum out. See what the floor looks like underneath. Right, because it's pretty rotten here, so let's just set up for that. Okay, so and I got all the wax wing and everything, you know, scraped off, like most of it. There's a broken piece right here, right, that was sil they filled in with silicone. Right. Yeah. I don't know what they thought, but... I'm just going to cut the linoleum out, see what it looks like underneath. Just as I suspected. <laughs> There's black mold. It's all wet. This is all. This is totally just unacceptable. Alright. So we gotta get rid of that outside. So right here, there's a depression in the floor. You can see it. Well, I mean, you can see if I get an angle on it. There's the floor all the way around where the toilet was sinking into the floor. Alright. You can barely look at it. It's pretty gnarly. Alright, now we gonna do something about that. Okay, this is where we're at. Part two. Alright, I've exposed the drain pipe for the toilet. Cut the old one off. Got a new one in a couple. Put it on there, test fitted, you know, sand measured. That looks pretty good with four sags right here. So this is the plan. We went, we tried to get some three quarter inch of USB. Because this is just particle board, press board, this is just solders and glue. The sub filling here on top of the joists to go across. Alright. So we just got, you know, we, we wanted three quarter, but we couldn't get it, so we got two, two pieces of half inch. Right, I'm gonna go outside right now and use the quick construction adhesive, four screws, glue it together. And I'm gonna cut out the shape for the, for the cabinet right here. Right, and then we're gonna cover this down, but we're gonna have like a nine inch gap. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the excess that I got, right? Because this, this room is, is a 64 inches this way, and, or 60 inches this way, right? And the sheet is 48 by 96. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna use the extra, right? And lay it right here. We're just gonna lay a whole new floor, floor right on top of this old shit, right, right here. You see, I'm gonna try to run a couple runners across back and forth and brace it. Alright, uh, see what we've got from there. So right now I'm gonna go outside. Alright, uh, and I'm gonna glue together the <laughs> OSB that we got.
But to do is you take a razor blade uh, and you score along the guide the drywall, right? And then you can you know punch it out. Right? Break it along the line, you know, kind of a straight line. Okay. Give it all. Pull it out of there. Right. There's no little corroding. The floor is saturated, it's soaked wet. I'm just gonna tile it again and cut that out. You know, if the baseboard doesn't look too corroding, but it is. And this one here looks pretty corroding. Alright, so. I cut it off, yes, and yes, I, I used the hole in the floor as a trash can. Yes, you're saying, you, you gotta, you know, maximize what you got. Okay, pot pour. <laughs> That's what it is. This is what we make the floor out of. We got, we couldn't get three quarter, like I said, so we got two pieces of half inch, and it costs 50, almost 50, almost 50 bucks, 57 something. Alright. Standard 48 by 96. This is a post sheet OSB stand board. Right? Sam, we grew, I, I used some of this. Right? Adhesive. It's lock tight shit. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good or not. PI 375 lock tight. Construction adhesive. Alright? Alright. Says words on board and all kind of crazy shit, so. Then, took a bunch of screws that we found. Right? And screwed it all together in the middle and along the edges. And Sam got a couple of welded clamps. C clamp and C clamp. Right, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit because I gotta come out here and I gotta draw a card on it for the cabinet. All right, and we're gonna go from there. Well, well this is where we're at. It's cold. <laughs> it's trying to snow. It's already snowed on me twice when I was outside cutting the wood for this. All right, okay, what we're doing is we're doing the bathroom, we're redoing the bathroom floor, all right, in Natasha's house. All right, um, we got us a three inch drain pipe for the toilet. Uh, I had it measured kind of right, but you know what I'm saying? I got close enough, you just use the, you know, sawzall, cut it out. We do the piece right here, right? Now, it is, you know, a really good fit, right? I cut it really close. Right, right here, right? It says, oh, let's see, where we at? Right here. There's the corner joint. Right, that's a good fit right there, I think. Right. Josh, you just filled the rest of the coffee. All the way here. Now, now, the room is not square, so it's not the board, it's the room. But, that's it. And then we're going to cover over this red sheet bit right here. All right, this one I just finished cutting. All right, I had to cut out this little notch right here for the molding. And we got a piece of molding you can go back on. So I'm measuring this piece right here now. All right, and we're going to put that piece in. We screw it all down. All right, and then we're going to go from there. Because we need to get a new... We need to get a new ring for the outside because one we got is too small and the other two that we have are too big. <laughs> right, this is three inch pipe, you see. So, right, I got the collar. Right here, let me see. Right. No, this is one of the, this is one of the rings that's too big. Right. I got the coupler, right, that goes over the pipe. And right, we just, this is a four inch, we just need a three inch so that we can drop it down into the coupler and glue it all together. Right, and the hose connection is good. Right, so that's what we're gonna do now. So I gotta do that now. Just measure this piece and then go from there. Alright, here we go. Three piece floor. Alright, this one here from the from the corner to that line, all the way across to the tub, all the way over to the wall, over, around, right to the corner and back. One piece. Two sheets, half inch OSB. From this line, 48 inches down to here, that's the second piece, same thing, two half inch pieces at OSB. And then right here, this corner piece, right, this is a 16 and an eighth by 11 and a quarter with a cutout for the molding. Cutout for the molding. Right, cutout for the water pipe. Right, right there. And you're supposed to slide in a little bit more because the door right here is off. See how it's off right here? here? It's off right here. It's because the floor over there in the corner is not exactly square. See, but I ended up making it square, right, with these ones along the way. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so, well, she's gonna get some trim and cover that anyway. Uh, so where we're at right now is, we're getting ready to screw down these two final pieces. Uh, the 
Walt did some work good in Milwaukee screw gun. It's kind of raining and blustery last night, so when the adhesive was setting for the for the board, because I glued them together, uh, it got cold last night, and the board it glued together, but it worked. Uh, so and these end pieces, I you know, needed to cut off. because the boy's asleep over there in the bedroom on the other side of the house. <laughs> now there you are. Floor. Huh? For the bathroom. Yeah. Um, you know, the pictures of the floor, I mean, because all the screws, when, as I was running the three-inch screws through it, I could feel the floor squeezing back up through the floor, so it supported it. Uh, it's solid. Right? She needs, you know, like I said, we... For new ring, right, make the attachment, put the wax, put the toilet, right, screw it down. Right, and then I think she's gonna cut some linoleum or something up on the mountain. Alright, we're gonna cut the linoleum to fit, just like that. I already got the measurements. Alright, Kabingo. You're gonna put a new piece right here, a new trim piece right here. Alright, cover the unevenness right here. Alright, should get a new door. I mean, this door is. Let's see. Uh, What do you guys see? And, and the knobs all messed up. So they actually work right either, but, you know, hey. Um, there it is. So. Not one, but two, actually. Just want to center it right over the hole. Alright. That's the one with the big hole. This is your standard. Alright. Toilet wax ring installation thing, you know, use the wax ring to see the, the toilet to the, to the pipe. The second one's smaller, right? And it drops down into the first one. One dollar, save one dollar. Right. It's getting lined up real good. Alright. Now we got my toilet studs in. Right. Now I gotta do this point here, just pick it up. And remember, a toilet weighs like, you know, 80 pounds. You see, you want to grab it, you know, right here in the red. Oh, there you go. Jet ski. It's so confused. He's like, why would I want this? He's like, why? <laughs> He's like, why would I need this? Push it down. Yeah, it's poked up through. So, I'm gonna put the brush on. Which one is more below the actual retail price? This one. Okay, so there it is, bolted to the floor. It just needs caulking. Alright, I hooked it up. Flushed it like five or six times, here it's flushed again. Complete dust, no leaks. Right? All it's got left is just, you know, put the kills on the floor. I can touch it already, you know, put the caulking, you already caulked it around, you just need to caulk around the toilet right now. Right? And then paint the floor. There we go. Right? Toilet project. This is me, Brian. Yeah, see? We, we, we got all kinds of action going on now. Thank you.